flying in any random direction is your first step to explore the world. Perhaps you are already combining this with another task like passenger transport or a trade run. Maybe you don't. With exploration your most important goal is to get knowledge about your surroundings. Not necessarily about details like factories or asteroids, but the general layout of the galaxy. Where are the jump gate connections? Where are empty sectors you could potentially settle in? Which stats do they have? Are there any threats like Xenon sectors nearby? Pirate bases in unknown sectors? Which main factions are close to these areas and might be worth being friendly with? This is the kind of intel you need to gather during your ascension. The more you know about your galaxy, the better your chances are to find a good position for your first outpost. A secondary objective is to start a satellite network. I say secondary because you don't have any access to automated exploration yet. You have to drop every satellite by hand, and this can be quite a slog if you want to cover a large area, which you don't even have to do. In Mayhem 3 the world starts out much smaller for you. Your ships don't have any means of fast travel. Your experience will almost exclusively be shaped by your immediate surroundings. You don't need to put satellites in any far away sectors if your ships can't even reach them in any reasonable time frame. You will get to see the world eventually. Jump beacons will shrink the distance for you, but with your first few sectors you will only be another local player in a certain part of space. Better to save your cache and drop most of your early satellites only once you know where your first outpost is going to be. To help your traders find the best deals and to get early vision of any incoming threats. Besides, satellites are quite expensive in this mod. They might seem cheap to you, but monetary dynamics have changed extremely compared to vanilla or most other mods. In Mayhem 3 satellites are actually quite hard to finance in the early game. The good news is that they are super easy to produce and most satellite factories are usually well stocked for a change. It shouldn't be too hard to find them. Always try to buy at a factory which has a full storage available to get the best price. NPCs will also place satellites and they actually use them to gather information now. Like you, they can't see what's going on out of sensor range. If you place a satellite, it's a good idea to do it a bit off-center. I usually put them about 100 kilometers away from the center. This is still close enough to get a good sensor read on the whole sector, but your satellite is a bit safer. And if an attacker does deliberately come to destroy it, he has to travel quite far, which at least makes it harder for him to get to the next one quickly. You should always keep at least one satellite on your player ship. Midnight Star. Drop it soon after entering any neutral sector to see if there are any hostiles around. There are several small wings of Xenons hanging around in empty space. And they can be fast, don't underestimate them. Be very careful or be ready for a thrilling chase back to friendly police forces. If you are still flying in your starting M4, you should pick up your satellite and do a 180 immediately. But if you already got a fully equipped M3, you can also safely take these small hunter groups out. Xenon, Terraformer, N. Command accepted. If your dogfighting skills are decent enough, just bring another wingman or two if they are not. These random Xenon wings won't respawn. 